Hey guys and welcome back to Mika Reacting Reviews, reacting to things on the internet, same day, same shirt, a different video, and today we are talking about Lizzo. Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizzo. Lizzo recently came out and said that she is a body icon comparative to uh, Kim Kardashian. She says this because people talk about her body all the time, like they talk about Kim Kardashian, that is why she's a body icon. I think it takes more than people talking about your body um, to be considered a body icon. Um, I don't necessarily consider Kim Kardashian a body icon either, but I see why people would consider um, Kim Kardashian a body icon. The difference is, is that there's a lot of people who are spending a lot of money to get Kim's body and not a lot of money to get Lizzo's body. So I think that's the difference between body icons. So she also came out and just basically said what I, I and many have suspected uh, the fat positivity agenda is. It is not to expand our minds when it comes to um, beauty standards. It is to completely change the beauty standards into being fat, obese, and unhealthy. Um, she basically wants the beauty standards to change to women like her. Um, so it's just like a lot of these things where these these sort of progressive ideologies or these communities talk about how they just want to expand and change. They want to expand the idea of masculinity. They want to expand the idea of femininity. They want to expand the idea of gender. It's not really that. It's usually most likely they just want to replace it because they want more power. So I thought that was really interesting that she said that. She also gave an interview, one talking about how the fact that she's proud of being fat and she loves being fat, which completely contradicts when she does her every like three month cry fest about someone calling her fat that she does on a very regular basis for someone who seems to be very confident and loves all the weight that she's gaining uh you wouldn't seem like you'd be crying about it all the time and a lot of times when people feel really insecure about their body they tend to show off their body even more it really depends on the person but the fact that she just seems to want to always put her ass in front of everyone's face would make me actually think she's more insecure about her body than she is confident about her body because there's a way to be sexy there's a way to be revealing and not look desperate and so usually when it comes off as desperate it comes out of insecurity she also talks about how the fact that she doesn't want people or she wants people to stop talking about her body which she's literally made her entire career off her body and off being fat and literally constantly displays it every for the world to see and i don't want to hear this stupid talking point it's like yeah but it's not for you to have an opinion on it's social media you post things for people can have an opinion on it so just because she's not getting the opinion she wants or the comment she wants then it's problematic but when people are going yes queen then she loves it um, so yeah, she literally named her whole tour like fat girl something so like you've made your whole career off your body So don't act surprised when people talk about your body the difference between Lizzo and Adele is like Adele Yeah, when people were asked or prompted her about her weight She would speak about it, but she didn't make her whole entire career off of her weight If you googled Adele you would come up with like either her lifestyle or her music You didn't find a bunch of articles talking about her weight if you google Lizzo is about her weight less about her music, which is her own doing. She could easily just ignore the haters, not make everything about her weight, and just make music, and then people would be focused more on her music than her body. But that is her fault, that is her doing. I also think she might be feeling the heat knowing that her whole career is pretty much based on her being fat, because if Lizzo tomorrow lost all her weight, or lost weight, which she will eventually do, you know it's coming, uh, when, she, when she gets enough money secured, uh, you know it's coming and she can afford the best dietitians, she can afford the best uh, personal trainers and fitness coaches and she's going to leave all her broke ass fans in the dust with their weight while she loses it with her bag. So I'm just saying that. But I think it must be, it's the same thing if, as like uh, Pamela Anderson or something like that who realizes that your entire career is based on your body. As a woman and as an aging woman, that can be the best thing to have to realize. Um, but but you did it to yourself or you allowed your team to push you in that direction so I don't give two fucks. She also talks about this whole being black and fat thing. I'm really sick of people trying to like correlate being black and fat together. It's really annoying and not only do fat black women do that that are part of the fat acceptance movement, a lot of white women that are part of the fat acceptance movement always try to use the idea of black women to sort of cover up their idiotic ideas and I feel like a lot of times they try to make it a racial thing so you can't criticize it because then you'll be called a racist. It's fat phobic. It's racist. 
and she talks about how the fact that she feels like fat bodies haven't been accepted and maybe in a romantic beautiful way in a mainstream uh, mainstream entertainment I can agree with that but fat bodies fat black bodies have been accepted in the black community for ever being skinny was not cool and not a thing in the black community especially when I was growing up fat bodies have always been praised that's why diabetes is an epidemic and the black community. That's when these. That's why when these women talk about uh, fat acceptance and how it's pro-black women, they don't give a flying fuck about black women because if they did, they would care about their mental, their psychological, and their physical well-being. Being obese and fat is not healthy. We're never gonna escape that. That is a scientific, biological, medical fact. I don't care how many times you can twist it. It is. I don't care if you find some woke nurse who wants some woke brownie points on TikTok. It is a biological, scientific, and medical fact that being overweight and obese is unhealthy. That's why you don't see obese old people. You don't see obese elderly people because they die before they get there. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel good to be obese, your thighs rubbing together, your skin falling off between your legs, uh, be, you know, huffing and puffing, just walking a few steps, you know, like not being able to fit in certain places. It's not comfortable being big. I think what a lot of times people, ha what, what happens is that people just get content in it. They feel like, look, I can't lose this weight. I'm not going to lose this weight. I know I don't have the drive or the motivation to be consistent in losing this weight or keeping it off. So I'm just going to accept the body that I'm in and I'm going to love the body that I'm in. And that is totally fine. But it does still not does not mean that you're healthy, right? I've never been like overweight. Even when I was younger, I was like 98 pounds. I was quite thin. I always had like a lower gut belly. I don't know why. Like it was always there. I, I when I was a teenager, I looked like I was a little pregnant because I always had this lower gut belly. Like the upper, my upper torso was fine. It was like this lower gut, right? And no matter what I did for exercises, workout, cardio, diet, it just would not go away. My mom had it. I figured it was genetics, and I just accepted accepted it right did it mean that like I loved it it just mean I accepted it and I accepted my body then I started intermediate fasting and it went away so it's always possible <laughs> um so I don't think it's like oh my god it's amazing to be you know unhealthy and overweight I think people just accept their bodies for what it is because they don't want to put in the work in and it gets, it's a lot of hard work because it is not it's not genetics to be obese. To be morbidly obese, that is just not like I was just born this way. But you can be genetically inclined to hold more weight and to gain weight easier. You might have a slower metabolism that makes it harder for you to get lose weight. You might have some some medical condition to make it harder for you to lose weight. But everyone can lose weight to a certain extent. I'm not saying everybody needs to look like Eugenia Cooney. But like, people can get into a healthy fitness shape for their height and age and all that stuff, right? So I'm kind of over this whole like fat black thing, like black women, black men, all races come in all different shapes and sizes. I am so sick and tired of making it seem like all black women just must be big. And that comes from the black community too. Again, I was very thin when I was growing up. I was made fun of not only by my my classmates and my friends, I was made fun of by my own family. My family ate very unhealthily and I ate really unhealthily too when I was younger but I just didn't gain, gain weight and they would pay, uh, make fun of me. When I get older and I started actually eating healthier, they actually call, said that I was trying to act white because I, I was trying to eat healthier, which is really weird. Um, I was vegan for a while and they definitely said I was trying to act white thin. Um, and they're all obese, they're all big. I think now that they're older and they realize like, shit, I'm really unhealthy, they're trying to lose weight. But like, it's been a very accepted thing in the black community and it's very unhealthy. I'm just so sick of black people like accepting the most toxic ass shit as something to be black. That is not black, it's just being unhealthy. <laughs> and Lizzo's like dream may come true one day because like, America is like incredibly obese and incredibly incredibly fat. So we will one day all just be rolling down. We will all have like segway someday just pushing ourselves down the street because we finally reached the moment where being obese is the new beauty standard. Look, I'm not trying to take away from Lizzo's talent. She is really talented. I really, really hope the best for her. I hope one day that she does get healthy because she's in her early 30s now and it is about to start hitting her like a brick freaking wall. And that is why most of these celebrities end up losing weight because they realize the older they get, it's not so cute anymore. Um, I hope that she can start focusing more on her music and less on her weight. You can't keep throwing your body out there and then telling people not to comment on your body. 
Anyway, guys, that's it. Tell me what you think of Lizzo. Lizzo's statement in the comment section below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the button to get to notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel further, you can donate. My PayPal my link is in the description box below. And also in the comment section, of course it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, subscribe. Another great way to support this channel is either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop. Links down below. I also have a second travel vlog channel. I travel as a lifestyle or I live abroad. If you'd like to know where I am in the world, you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section hit the link go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel instagram my stories is usually what's most up to date and you guys have an amazing day bye